G'day guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video here. And today, we are going to be reviewing bounties. As you know, I'm a little bit of a hoarder. So as we go to quest, there's one page, there's two pages, and there's a couple. What the hell? Get that shit out of here. But today, we're going to be ranking bounties from best to worst. Starting with an S tier and ending with a meh E tier. Here we go. The first set of bounties we're going to focus on is Trials. Now Trials, as we know, is a very annoying game mode to complete. There is one bounty in particular though that you can get done very quickly by jumping off the map. You also get a free weapon from this bounty. And this bounty is very efficient in the way that you can achieve it. But it may get only give you a 3 win bounty, but it's very good to complete. Now the other bounty is usually something like, as a group, you have to get a 100 kills with a certain archetype, which can be very annoying to do, and very time consuming. And in a place like Trials, there are so many sweaty people that if you verse them all, you're going to die. And, well, that just sucks off, and I hate it. So, we're going to rate, just because of this one bounty, we're going to rate Trials at a B. Moving on, we're going to go to the Moon Bounties. Now, the weekly Moon Bounties take very, very long to complete. As you can see over here, you have to complete three of the Moon's Lost Sectors, and you have to complete the Ultra Sorrows many, many times. Completing Ultra Sorrows can be very time consuming, especially when you do it on all three characters. But, it is a very efficient way in getting all the weeklies and repeatables done. But it is absolutely terrible, and it is very time consuming and very annoying. But, in the end, it is a bit of a meh, so it is going in the C tier, the mid tier, C tier. Next one we're going to focus on is your rape, your, your, your Roper bounties. The weekly Roper bounties can be very, very annoying. They can be very annoying. The Dark Priestess, you have to get headshot kills and kill the thing. And the other one, you have to complete Lost Sectors and Public Events, which can get very repetitive. And the daily repeatable ones can be so goddamn annoying. As, like for example, this one. Defeat Vex on Europa with precision fire of blows. That is absolutely terrible. Who would want to do such a bounty? So these Europa bounties are going in the E column. They are terrible, and I never want to do them again. The Nightmare bounties are next. These Nightmare bounties can be very annoying to do because you have people constantly stealing your kills in Nightmare hunts. So you have to be very quick and a good way to do it is to use a sword and you can kill them very quickly. The Nightmares can get very annoying. Even the daily ones can be quite good except for the ones where you have to defeat 25 Nightmares with arc damage. These ones are a solid, but bit of an annoying bounty to do. That is why they are going in the D column. That's right folks, the D column. Gambit bounties. Gambit bounties suck. They suck. So much ass. Who would ever do Gambit bounties? Sometimes, in a very lucky day, you can get them all done in one game. But other times, it will take you multiple games to get one bounty done. And it just sucks. There is nothing around it. There is no more around it. And that is why they are going at the bottom at an E tier. Crucible bounties 
are very easy to do. Not too many of them require not too many things to do, like get five kills with a scout rifle, or get five kills with an arc weapon. These are very good, very good for time, and you have a bit of fun playing normal Crucible, if you're a casual player. So, I put these in the A tier. Now moving on to Gunsmith Bounties. Gunsmith Bounties can be good. The dailies are very easy to complete, as you just have to get a weapon and shoot shit stuff. But the repeatables can be annoying, because, well, with the repeatables, you have to get them all done in one life. As I don't have any here because they are annoying to do, we're going to be putting them in the B column, not much else to say on those. The next ones are the Vanguard bounties. These bounties are ones that you can just pick up and just easily do at free will. They are pretty epic and most of them are very easy to complete, such as this one, defeat enemies with grenades. You can get that done anyway, but as a prime strike one, defeat enemies with your super and strike, there is a lot of enemies in a strike and you'll most likely get your super and you can kill them very, very well. The next bounties are weekly clan bounties from Hawthorne. These bounties can be very annoying to do as well. They consist of completing raids, completing 10 crucible matches, or completing a nightfall with clan mates by your side. There's something you can do throughout the week, no problem at all, but if you get one like complete 10 gambit matches, that can be a bit of a hassle. And the last, oh, oh, we got to rank them, but ranking them, we're going to put them under solid C. The next set of bounties are the Cosmodrome bounties. These are God sent bounties. These are God sent bounties. These ones you can do very, very easily. It consists of stuff like five kinetic kills, five power kills, or just five melee kills. It's very easy, very simple. The weekly bounties is just doing public events, getting Arc Solar and Void kills, and it is very easy, and that is why it is going at the top spot, S tier. They are so good, and nothing will ever beat them. And so the next bounty is the Wanted Bounty. This one can be annoying to get because you have to get five Ghost Fragments by doing stuff on the Tangled Shore. That is a good opportunity to do the Tangled Shore bounties. We are not including planetary bounties that do not have weekly bounties in this video. But the weekly Silent Fang is a very, very good start. You get it. And, well, you do the thing and you get the bounty done. And you get a lot of glimmer. And it's all around quite fun, quite a solid bounty. It is going to go in the B tier. Thank you for tuning into this video. I hope it is very informative. And I will catch up with you later next time. For now, I have been your host, Balam. I will see you around.